Mo. Roy Oswalt. Roy Oswalt, available right now. Reds need starting pitching help. We love the moves. I think we, we like the moves. We're optimistic about this team, and I think most of us would agree they're better than they were at the end of the season last year. At the same time, um, they've, they've got to continue to improve, and I think where you start is with the starting pitching. I think there's something to be said. Look, this team doesn't have a lot of depth. Chances are more than five guys are going to be needed to start games this year. After Aroldis Chapman, I don't know who that is. I don't even know if Aroldis Chapman can be that guy. I know Roy Oswald can, and I know it would force the Reds to make some tough decisions. Uh, the two that stand out would be, do you send Mike Leake to the minor leagues? Yes, it would hurt. Yes, it might be a little bit unfair. Don't care. Mike Leake would get that. You keep him on schedule. When the Reds need a starter, Mike Leake comes back. You can move Homer Bailey to the bullpen. You can option out Sam LeCure. I'm okay with that, too. Uh, Sam LeCure goes on schedule at Louisville. Maybe he now can start. Maybe Bailey as the spot starter still starts a bunch. You put him back in the rotation when need be. Roy Oswalt, to me, is a better and more uh, certain option than Homer Bailey. Don't know what I'm getting for him. I think Roy can at least be as good. Last year, he was better. He was better than Bronson Arroyo. I know we love Bronson's durability. We're counting on Bronson Arroyo having a bounce back season. You could say the same thing about Roy Oswalt. Here's the thing. Oswalt, not as bad as Bronson was a year ago, and better than Oswalt, or better than Arroyo, two years ago. The ceiling is higher. He had the back issue last year. I'm talking about this under an assumption of health, that Oswald is close to 100%. He's going into a year where he's talking about a one-year contract, where people are saying he can prove in that one year that he's deserving of a multi-year deal, not necessarily with the team that signs him this year. So you get that, you get a motivated Roy Oswald, and I get a Roy Oswald that was better than average when he came back from the back issue last season. Seven of his final 11 starts in the regular season were quality. I can't say that about Bronson Arroyo. Not sure I could say that about Homer Bailey. They need depth. They need options. If you're building, if you're building depth in your starting rotation and you're looking for options, don't start at the bottom. Don't get bottom rung guys. Get the guys at the top of the rung. Roy Oswald is at or near the top. And by the way, there's nothing that says you can't at some point employ a six-man rotation. Email me your thoughts, mo at ESPN1530.com, or you can shoot me a tweet at moegger1530.